So you're thinking about moving here to the Destin, Fort Walton Beach area, and you were considering Destin, right? Maybe you vacationed down here. Maybe one of your friends have talked about it and you're like, yeah, let's go ahead. We've decided we're moving here, but where are the places I need to avoid? What are the top three worst neighborhoods that I need to avoid? Well, in this video, my team and I came up with the top three that you should be aware of prior to moving to Destin. You want to stick around to the last one because it might make or break your decision. So stick around. What's up, everybody? This is Tim Whittemore with the Whittemore Group right here in the Destin Fort Walton Beach area. This is your first time to our channel. We do tons and tons of videos about everything you need to know about our area. Now, as a military veteran of 14 years and now a military spouse, I have moved so many places. And every time I move somewhere, there's always such a lack of information of where to move to and what to anticipate. That's why we created this channel for you. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button click that little bell so you're notified every single time we got a new video coming out. Now, honestly, we get tons of phone calls, emails, texts, social media, posts, whatever, about what it's like to eat, sleep, work, play, drink, whatever here in the Destin Fort Walton Beach area, and we love it. So, if you are moving here, got some questions, need some help, give us a call, text, email, heck, shoot us that little paper airplane, <laughs> whatever you gotta do. We got your back with moving here to the Destin Fort Walton Beach area. So let's talk about Destin. What's going on with Destin? Well, some of the great things that I love about this area is there's tons of things to do. You got great weather down here. It does get a little cool sometimes, and that's a relative factor here for us Floridians. Uh, you've got the Harbor Walk to go out to, of course, the beaches. I think I can't not mention that. You got Henderson Beach, you've got uh, Noriega Point, a Crab Island. Oh, yeah, Crab Island. <laughs> the cost of living here is really good. Uh, you've got the people and hospitalities. It's, it's a kind of a nice, cool little mix here of um, just past military people and Floridians, and we're also influenced by Georgia and Alabama. So like this all kind of mixes together and it's really, really cool and a great, great community. And of course, golfing, year round golfing. And we're surrounded by three or four military installations here. So it's very military friendly. There's lots of vets like myself here and just, just really good, good people all around. Absolutely love this area and love the Dustin area. Now, we're going to talk about some negatives. I hate doing negative content, but you know, sometimes we got to talk about certain things, right? But the things that you may be wanting to hear, like, hey, what are the crime rates? Were these like bad people hanging out? Is there somebody picking belly lint out of their belly button, standing in front of their house, drinking a, out of a big old jug with three X's on it? I'm not going to go over any of that. Although I may have seen that somewhere in this area before. That was a direct reference to something, <laughs> but it wasn't in Destin. No, if you want that information, what I would like and suggest you to get the most up-to-date statistics for that is go on to sites like niche.com or areavibes.com or any of those, and you can find those sort of things. Now, we as real estate agents aren't supposed to give out those certain things. They call that uh, steering. Um, we're not going to do that here today. So what I am going to go over is the things that are cons and the worst places to be in them. There are three and thus three neighborhoods. What are the worst things in Destin that drive you crazy? <sighs> okay, so first one, and it should be just number one with an exclamation point, is traffic. What neighborhood is just the worst affected place for traffic, right? Number two, the aircraft noise. Yeah, there's a there's a military installation over there, but uh, there's also an executive airport. So which one's worse for that? And of course, where does it get most crowded? Where's the most amount of tourism? So all those things will make your skin crawl depending on what bothers you. So everything that bothers most people here is the traffic, unless you're from LA, and this will seem very tame. The worst place 
for traffic I'm going to say is Crystal Beach. Now, Crystal Beach is just east of Henderson Beach and it's just west of where Miramar Beach starts. It's just south of Highway 98 and it's where there's a ton of Airbnbs, VRBOs, rental properties essentially. There's not a ton of condos and if there are, they're little ones that are on the water. But you also have access down there to the Crab Trap of Destin. You've got some local beach accesses as well as public beaches that are down in the Crystal Beach area. It's a beautiful, beautiful place, but it is filled with people trying to get to those beaches and get off those beaches. And it's south of 98. Now, the issue with it being south of 98 is you don't have a way to get around it. So if everybody's on Highway 98, either trying to get through Destin, go into Destin, anywhere, that's the only way to go. So it is constantly just bumper to bumper. I mean, the traffic does move, but depending on the time of day, it is so <laughs> frustrating. Uh, but if you go into a neighborhood like Crystal Beach, it's there's a couple of ways to get around the next thing you know you're in a gated community and then you can't get around and even google maps will throw you for a loop so even if you do find an alternative route that area is filled with speed bumps so you can't go very quickly anywhere <laughs> so yes crystal beach in my humble opinion is worse for traffic in destin so if you're looking still, there's there's a good amount of single family homes there. And it's south of 98 with a little golf cart drive down to the beach. Just it's hard to beat that. And because of that, our home prices in this area are pretty up there. So your median home price for a single family home. So we're not gonna talk about condos. If you want that number, please go feel free to contact me or my team. But the median uh, price here at the end of 2021 was about 999,450. Might as well just said a million, but that's not what the number said. <laughs> All right, the low was about 315,000. And the high that was sitting there on the Gulf was about 5.7 million. And that house was gorgeous. <laughs> And uh, Crystal Beach has a lot of good things going for it, and thus you pay for it, but the traffic's a bit rough. Okay, number two, the aircraft noise. So we have Destin Executive, like I had mentioned earlier in this video, and it is just a small airport with a single strip that pretty much goes, we'll say northwest, and then down to the southeast a bit. So it, so it goes right down almost to the middle of Destin but it's in the eastern part of Destin. If you look on a map, you can see it pretty easily. There's a neighborhood on the approach runway on the most eastern, northeastern part of Destin, and that place is called Bayou Main Street. Yes, it's Bayou Main Street, according to nextdoor.com. So you can check that out there too with some extra cool little comments in there. However, I can tell you from personal experience over the years that I've been doing real estate and selling out in Destin, and we <laughs> remember going to this house and it was in this neighborhood. And the neighborhood's great. I really like it. You wouldn't even know you were in Destin in this like nice little hidden area. And they're big, bigger lots. You know, they're nicely uh, kept up and all the neighbors really take care of their place. And it's really nice because it's just a relaxed part of Destin without being in a gated community. Love the neighborhood. However, I remember being out back, you know, showing a little bit of this and that. And I was on the phone. I think I was doing a virtual tour. <laughs> and this this uh, dual engine airplane just flies right over the top of us. And of course, you know, if you know anything about flying, they've got the flaps and everything down. So it's going super slow and it's just screaming on the way down. I'm like, hold on. Yeah, so you're under the approach path the runway. <laughs> Oh man, it was it was crazy. They didn't end up offering on that property. I don't think it was because of that. They really did like it, um, <clears throat> but it just wasn't for them. But yes, if you're used to the aircraft noise, and I think you do get used to it, me as an Air Force veteran that used to be a mechanic and a flight engineer, I can tell you that I got used to it and it wasn't a big thing. However, no matter where you are in this area, you will still be subjected to those early stage turbines that are in the jets that are flying around here. Like your F-15s, your F-16s, they've got the F-35, they've got the C-22s, all the stuff that they're testing around here. 
you get to hear them just in the pattern. But you don't have to be in Destin to hear that. You could be up in Crestview, you could be out in Navarre. They're just loud and you're gonna use it. But it's not constant, that's the biggest thing. Anyway, great neighborhood, but most likely the most affected point of the entire area for jet noise. So uh, that's going to be Bayou Main Street. Let's talk a little bit about that real estate. You know, we are a real estate channel here. <laughs> All right, for your median single family home, your average price in there is going to be, well, median price is going to be 779950 as of the date of this video. Now that was a low of 325000 and a high all the way up to $1.2 million. Now, the reason that it's up a little bit higher than what we normally see is because of the market, but a lot of the homes that have sold in the past year, which is what we're getting from the comps here, were mostly really close or on the water. So you can still get a pretty good deal for around five, four to, well, let's say four to 600,000 and uh, still get a pretty nice lot with a nice house in there. Okay, last one I got, and you know it's coming, is tourism. Now we love tourism here in the Destin area. It brings so many jobs, it's really nice. We got all these cool things to do. Heck, us locals that don't necessarily live in Destin go out to travel out there to do all the fun things during the weekend. <laughs> So uh, tourism is great, but it can also be very frustrating. Why? Because we have to share the area with everybody <laughs> and all this fun stuff. You know, it just it wouldn't be there without them. So you damned if you do, damned if you don't, those sort of things. <laughs> so that being said, what is the most affected area due to tourism? And we're going to say it is Holiday Isle. Isle Day Isle is one of the most expensive parts of Destin, which is the most southern eastern part. It actually is connected to Noriega Point, Noriega Point Beach Park, that uh, is right there that you can go out to. It's a lot like uh, on the southern part of Destin Harbor. So there's tons and tons of different real estate, lots of condos, some single family homes through out there. But if you are out there to live, it can get a little bit frustrating, mainly because you're sharing everything and there's only one way in and one way out. And if you do not have designated parking where you live, good luck. Because during the uh, the springtime all the way up until about school starts, good luck trying to find a public parking space out there. It is rough because you're, you're sharing the beautiful, beautiful, one of the most beautiful areas in, in Destin. So, uh, Holiday Isle for our median single family homes are about 1.4 million. And again, these are the uh, single family homes out there. Your low is about 625,000 and a high up to $4.2 million. And those are, I ever, every time I go and show something like that, I just get to, get to envision how the other half lives. And I'm kind of jealous of you guys. So. <laughs> but absolutely, absolutely gorgeous real estate down in Holiday Isle. And that's the reason why there's so many tourists down in that area. So that's all I do have for you for the top three worst neighborhoods in Destin, Florida. Coming from my list and my personal experience <laughs> and living vicariously through others here in our area. If you have any questions about anything I spoke about, please go ahead and leave it here in the comments below. And if you are from these areas and you want to put something else out there, please keep it positive. I'd love to hear from you. Put your info below here. Give us a quick comment. And of course, if you are moving to this area, you got some questions, you need some help, again, give us a call text, email, find me or anybody on my team on social media. We'd be happy to help you out any way that we can. So again, I'm Tim Whittemore with the Whittemore Group here with eXp Realty. And we'll see you in our next video. Take care.